Hello everybody, my name is Brian Fisher. I'm an NX application engineer with ProLim. Today we're going to look at NX 1953 Sketcher. For you that are not familiar with this, this is a new Sketcher that was added in 1926. It has a new solver. In 1926 it was not the default, however you could turn it off and on. And in 1953 it is now the new default. As you can see there, you can see the advantages with this new solver. We'll be going over some of those real quick. And if you have not done so, please go to our ProLim YouTube channel and subscribe. We have several videos that are similar to these that give you tricks, tips, and we also post our webinars there. Now let's go into NX. So in 1926, the new Sketcher was added. To turn that off and on, all you'd have to do is go up to the file, utilities, feature toggles, type in sketch, and you will get this new solver here that you are able to turn off and on. For it to take place, like a lot of customer defaults, you would have to turn it off, get out of NX, and then reload NX. However, in 1953, this is now the default solver. All right, so the first thing we want to do is um, we're in our home tab here in the next model. I'm going to come up and hit sketch. Right away, you'll notice a big difference here. We now have a right front top plane that show up. You can pick one of them planes, or you can pick the default planes that you may have with your CSIS. In this case, I'm going to leave it as it is. I'm going to say OK, and we're going to go on. The next thing you will know, your toolbar looks completely different now. You do not have any of those dimensions up there anymore that you have to mess with. You do not have the auto constraints and auto dimension either. You will have a constraint tab here. So the next thing we're going to do is when we go in and create this sketch, you will see how much quicker we are able to go in there and create these, and it automatically knows a lot of the constraints that we want to add. So as we begin to sketch this, you will notice right away that it will take fewer clicks to be able to accomplish our task. You also notice as I go and put my first circle here that we have a shaded area. If there was a gap or if this was not a closed area, it would not be shaded. I'm going to go in and continue to uh, build this sketch real quick, and you'll notice the next thing, you have these brown curves. This is default to let me know that that curve has not been defined yet. Additionally, what you'll notice is you'll see this approximate sign. This approximate sign is letting me know that that is approximately 7.26. There's trailing numbers. I'm going to go ahead and we're going to continue to make this part that I want to do here and we're going to say yes to that. And I'm going to come in and I'm going to go and dimension this portion also. Make that 15. If I wanted to at any time I could relax these dimensions or these relationships and I would be able to stretch and move this sketch as I like. But right now is what you'll notice it will is it is fully defined at this time. The only way I'd be able to change it is by doing the dimensions. Unless I went up and I relaxed the dimensions or the relationships. I'm going to continue on building this. And this time I'm going to come in and I'm going to change the dimension of this to 8. And I'm going to come in and continue to do this. And you can see here, this is real easy to do. I'm one click and I can easily come in and make those changes. Make a few little other things here. We'll mirror that over. I'm going to come in and take a dimension. And let's change this to 28. And now with a few trim commands, we can quickly have this part that we want here and be able to use this. We'll come over and trim a few more. You'll notice as I get this done, it will shade again once I have it fully defined and that there is no gaps or loops or anything like that in the string. Here you'll notice right now we have a sketch that is fully defined. I didn't have to go into no dimensions and do it. I could click on the curve, get a dimension that way, and I didn't have to go in and do any relationships. If you need, do need relationships, your relationships are up here now, and you can easily get to them. So with this sketch, you're able to put the sketch in 
with a lot less clicks and be able to finish and move on to your next task. So that is a quick example of the new Sketcher. Please check it out with the NX 1953. Thank you. So once again, thanks everybody for watching this. Here's the information where you can um, email me. Additionally, as I mentioned earlier, you can always go to our YouTube channel at prolim.subscribe and go ahead and subscribe to that and you'll get notifications when you have other videos similar to this or when we are putting out some of our webinars. Thanks again for watching and have a good day.